Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be telling you exactly how you can create a print on demand design for free using Canva. So I've actually shown you how to do it on Photoshop. I've shown you how to do it paying on Fiverr, getting someone else to do it. And I've received a lot of requests showing you how to actually make a good looking design on Canva, not one of those boring text only designs. I'm talking like a good, well, what I think to be a good looking design on Canva completely and utterly for free. Why? Why? Okay, the audio is only coming out of the left ear again and I need to find out why. So let's go and inspect. Okay, well here's my mic. Right, here's the audio. That's in. Oh my. Ugh. The audio jack, 3.5 millimeter thing, wasn't in. I'm very sorry that most of this video will just be coming out of your left ear, but please still watch all the way to the end because I guarantee it is going to be an amazing, amazing video. But let's just let's just jump right back into it. So before we get started, I should let me introduce myself. For those of you who are new here, my name is Shimmy Morris. I talk all about business, making money online, Amazon, Fiverr, print on demand, affiliate marketing, e-commerce, you name it. If you're interested in any of those topics and you like my face, then just hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you know when I bring out new videos. And that's about it, really. Let's just get cracking on with the video. No more blagging, blabbing, or whatever the word is. Let's just get started straight away. So I recently paid someone on Fiverr, my last video actually, I paid someone on Fiverr to create a design for me and I gave them the text that they needed. So to make this whole video a lot smoother and a lot more simple, I'm going to create a design using that same text so that we can actually comp compare my design with this Fiverr design that I paid for. And also you kind of get an idea of the power of Canva because that's what I'm going to be using Canva and this person was using Photoshop to actually create the design which is an expensive program you've got to pay every single month for and like I said I am going to be using Canva. So let's open up Canva over here. I just want to quickly say the competition giveaway thing that I did where I said I would fully look into one of your businesses I actually picked a winner and I replied to that winner on that video. Um, the winner's name was Francesco or something. Now they haven't responded to me and they still haven't responded to me and it's been quite a few days. So if they don't actually respond to me by the end of the week, I'm going to have to pick an, a new winner because today's video, actually I wanted it to be that video talking about that person's business. Obviously I can't do that if they haven't responded to me. So I'm gonna give them till the end of the week and then I'm going to be picking another winner. So first you wanna do is you wanna to go to Canva and you wanna click create design and you wanna click custom dimensions because well, a t-shirt is like this. It's more like a rectangle, but you want to make sure that the pixels are, are, are big enough so that there's a lot of quality. You want to pack in as much quality as you possibly can. Oh, it's raining hard. So you want it to be three, six, four, eight pixels by two, four, nine, six pixels. And then you want to click create design, and then that should give us some sort of rectangular design which is the wrong way around obviously I have to do it the wrong way around because I'm me let's create another design the width needs to be the smaller number okay this is more like it now I'm gonna be honest with you I have prepped this video I know what I'm designing here um, just because I didn't want to make a really boring video of me trying to figure out this whole design as I went along uh, so I just thought it would make the video a lot smoother. The reason for this video, the point of this video, is to show you the power of Canva and how you don't have to worry if you don't have Photoshop or you don't have to pay someone on Fiverr, what you can do for free. So let's start with just simple text, all right? And the words we're gonna be using is, this dad has reached level one. So let's add a heading, and we're going to put the word dad in. Lovely. All right, we need to change the font of this. And we're going to use bungee shade. Okay, and we're gonna make this a bit bigger. Now bear in mind, we are going to be doing this design on a black t-shirt. So we wanna change the overall background color, but we don't wanna change it to white because sometimes, if we, sorry, if we change it to black, you won't be able to see 
the design we've just done. So we're going to change it to yellow because I know I'm not using any yellow in this design and that way it's a good background. And that way we can change the colors accordingly. So let's add another one. And we want to add level one, change that font to bungee shade as well. Now, if any of you have seen my other videos, you'll know that I always talk about having no more than three fonts. Well, in this video, I'm only going to have two fonts. Okay, let's do this, make sure it's all centered. This might not be the best design and I've actually got notes that I'm gonna tell you about specifically using Canva and not using Canva. I actually forget to tell you those notes about the pros of using Photoshop over using Canva. I'm watching this back, realizing I actually forgot to tell you that. So towards the end of this, I will tell you, but I'm gonna tell you with this kind of video and just put it in on top. But let's just, let's just finish the design quickly. So let's add another heading has, let's change that font to bungee, but not bungee shade, just bungee. Put that there. No, sorry. Let's change that to this. Let's copy and paste this. So command C, command V has, make this a bit smaller because it's not such an important word. And then command V again, that will paste this again. And then let's do reached, keep that a bit bigger. Font sizes, you can have a few different font sizes, but make sure that they're all spread evenly within the design. Right, that's the that's the basis of the design. Now let's add some elements to uh, kind of make it slightly more interesting. So firstly, we're gonna change all of this to white because it's going to be on a black t-shirt, obviously. And then we're gonna change the dad. We want, want to have some color in there. So what are we thinking? Yeah, I prefer that blue. So let's go with that blue. Well, this will be a bit closer. Uh, let's move this up a bit. And then let's add some sort of graphic y thing. So, um, elements. Uh, it should be in my recent. Ah, okay, so there we go. This is free as well. You don't need to pay for this. This, this, this picture. A lot of the pictures I actually wanted, so I'll show you. Controller. The picture I actually wanted was not free. Um, I don't know where it is though. Maybe I search game, hang on. Yeah, so I originally wanted this one. Oh, it is free. Oh, I'll use that then because that's cooler. It's more iconic. That looks more like a, a PlayStation controller than the one I've gone for. So let's make this a bit smaller. I want this to be coming out of the E like that. Let's change the color of this to match. So in here you can see your the colors in your document. So I'm using yellow for the background, white for the wording, blue for the wording, and let's get rid of that black. So now there's no black. Okay, so far so good. Let me just add a few graphic design elements to this to make it less boring because at the moment it's a bit boring. And then one thing I'm noticing is because the font of dad and level one is kind of pushed to the side, as you can kind of see, it makes it look like it's not centered, but it actually is centered. So I'm not gonna worry too much about that okay so let's go back to elements and let's click the circle one right we want to make some circles we want to move them down here i'm thinking a double circle so let me change the color of this to match oh i could do three colors in a design so let's let's make it that color command c command v to copy and paste it and then let's make sure it's level with that okay let's now copy and paste both of them, Command C, Command V. And now let's make sure they are level with each other. There you go. And I feel like they could be a slightly higher on both. So let's make both a bit higher and then level them. There you go. That looks pretty good. Now let's add a tiny bit of graphics to the has bit. And also I don't like how big the spacing is here. So you can kind of see like, already the design capabilities, the design possibilities of this is pretty good. Like I am happy with this. So let's add a line. Um, let's add an interesting line. Uh, I like this one. So let's add this one in and let's make the color of this one. Um, let's make it dark. Let's move it here, put it in the middle put it in the middle of has 
it's command C, command V, or control C, control V if you're on a PC. And actually move that over there. Okay, so far this design is looking pretty good. Let's move reach up, move level up a tiny bit. Let's move the controller up. And that is my design. I mean, that has taken me, how long has it been? It's been eight minutes, but I was talking for about a minute or two. So that's taken me literally five whole minutes to make this design on Canva, which is free. So like 100%, if you want to do your own designs, but you don't want to be paying for Photoshop or anything like that, then use Canva because you've also got a humongous catalog of free graphics, photos, anything you want to use. And yes, okay, of course you can pay for the, the pro version, but you don't have to. Okay, so let me just quickly say one thing here. Let me just quickly compare them for you so you can see. So first, let me open it big so you can see. You can see over here, this level one and this dad. So you can't do this on Canva, but what I would have done if I was using it on Photoshop is I'd have this like arch like that. I'd have this arch like that. So it's got like, so it's like coming into each other a bit. And if I did that, I would do Father's Day 2020. The reason I didn't do Father's Day 2020 on this design is because I wanted to have it like arched underneath the thing. But maybe you can. I just personally have not yet figured out how to arch text on Canva. So that is what I would do if I was using Photoshop or GIMP or I don't know any other tool that could do it. So those are kind of like the drawbacks of using Canva, but that is about it. That's the bit that I wanted to add in that I said I would add in, but I forgot to add in. So anyway, back to our regular scheduled content. Back to the video. Right, now we're up to exporting this. So let's change the background to black. It'll be easier to cut out when it's black. Right, now let's go to publish, uh, download, PNG. Now, if I had the Pro, I would make the quality go all the way up. I would have a transparent background, but I don't have the Pro. So what I'll say to you is this, my piece of advice is you can get the Pro for 30 days without having to pay because on the 30th day, that's when you start paying monthly. So get the Pro and design as many shirts as you possibly can. Maybe design 10 shirts a day. They take five minutes each. That's 50 minutes a day. Design 10 shirts a day for 30 days. You've got 300 designs there. This is quick maths right then cancel and that way you've got 300 designs to work with and it makes your whole life easier because this next step i'm going to show you how to remove the background but it's just a bit of effort and it's annoying and if you could just choose the highest quality and a transparent background it would make your life a lot easier but in the meantime let's just download this and move on with the next part of this video which is removing this background so if you are on a Mac, it's very easy to remove the background. Here's my downloaded picture. Let's open this up, right? All you have to do is click this button, right? That edit little button, click this, right? Okay, I don't actually know what this is called, but whatever, it looks like this, right? And then you want to drag and you can kind of see what's being selected here, right? So all the black is being selected, but then some of this has been selected as well. So we don't wanna, we don't want that, so let's, do like that there you go now all you have to do is just a simple backspace right and you can see it removes all of it now obviously I'll have to remove it from in here and in here and in here and in here and then really closely in here that should be good to go I think now if you want you can remove this it's really not necessary. What you do is you, you click and you just drag a tiny bit and you can see it goes orange. Right. Right, that is my design. And that is basically, you can see now how it's a PNG file. That has been saved as a PNG. So what I would now do is go to my chosen platform, which for me would be Teespring, upload this and get started selling this design. So click file and save. Okay, now the thing is, if you don't have a Mac, this is going to be slightly more complicated for you. I've, I've done a lot of research, tried to find websites for you, and it's actually slightly harder. So you have a few options. One, you can pay for the Canva Pro and do as much as you can in 30 days. Two, there are a few websites. Um, I'm not even going to bother listing them because there's no point, but there are a few websites where you can pay and actually um, they will remove the transparent background for you instantly. It's done. Um, but again, if you're going to pay for that, you may as well just pay for Canva Pro because if you pay for Canva Pro, you get all the 
all the fonts, you get all the extra images. So if you're gonna have to pay, go for Cam Canva, Canva, go for Canva Pro. And if you wanna do it completely free, I have found one option for you PC users, and that is using GIMP, okay? And let me quickly show you what that is. So GIMP is basically a free alternative to Photoshop. You can download it, it's very simple to use. It basically is like this, and you can cut away the background and do editing like Photoshop, but it's a free piece of software, so you can do that. Now, this isn't a GIMP tutorial, so I'm not gonna show you how to use it, but basically, that is how you create a design using Canva, super easy, barely an inconvenience. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed this video. If you feel like you have got anything from this video, please smash or just click or just tap that like button. Don't break your computer or anything, but just hit that like button very softly and give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, hopefully I will see you in the next video. Where I think, I think I'm going to be doing some sort of self haircutting video. I know it's not business related, but as you can see, my hair is ridiculous because of this lockdown and things need to change. So I will see you hopefully on Sunday or Monday for that video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.